Hello, my name is Vince Bordeaux, and I'm a senior instructor with PM Centers USA. I'd like to talk to you about an elicitation technique that you can use to effectively gather requirements. Interviewing is one of the top ten elicitation techniques, and basically it's a two-way conversation used to discover our stakeholders' needs. The types of stakeholders who make good candidates for this technique are project sponsors, subject matter experts, project managers, and in fact, this technique works well with anyone who has insight into high-level requirements. Now, interviewing may seem simple enough, but stakeholders don't always have time to meet with us, and many have difficulty staying focused, which can cause the conversation to become solution-oriented rather than focusing on the requirements that describe the goals and the objectives of the project. These issues may lead to incomplete, inaccurate, or even missing requirements. So, I'd like to share with you a four-step process to help improve your success and overcome these challenges. These four steps are prepare, conduct, document, and confirm. Now, preparation is very important and is performed prior to meeting with the stakeholder. By carefully choosing who you wish to talk to, you can select those who are most knowledgeable and influential about the requirements you seek. Make sure that you schedule a time and a place for the meeting and try to keep the duration of the interview to 20 minutes to accommodate busy schedules and also choose a place to meet where they will feel most comfortable, such as their own office, or invite them for a coffee or sit outside if the weather's nice. Next, you'll need to define the objective of the interview by determining which information you're looking to gather. Based on that objective, identify five to seven questions that will guide the conversation and uncover details about the stakeholders' needs and desires. These questions should be arranged so that the higher level questions are asked first and the more detailed ones are asked towards the end. Confirm that these questions are appropriate for your stakeholder and forward them along with the invitation far enough in advance so that they have adequate time to review and prepare for the interview. It's a good idea to contact your stakeholder prior to the meeting to confirm that they received the invitation and also make sure that they're, they've looked over the questions and are ready for your arrival. Now it's time to conduct the interview. Make sure you arrive on time and greet the interviewee with a warm hello and build a rapport to, that has a friendly feel and a, about a non-work related topic. Once you're ready to begin, start by stating the objective of the meeting and ask them to refrain from using the phone or checking their email during the interview. Be polite and at ease and if possible, bring along someone to take notes so that you can focus your attention on conducting the interview. Use verbal and nonverbal active listening techniques to show interest and confirm your understanding. Or, ask clarifying questions when more information is needed to refocus the conversation when necessary. Remember, you only have 20 minutes, so stay on topic with your questions, but be prepared to ask additional questions if you require more information. At the end of the session, summarize your key points that you've heard and ask if there's anything else to discuss before you conclude. Let them know you'll send a summary of your notes for their review and approval. Once back at your office, document a summary of the stated requirements and provide a copy to the interviewee thanking them for their time. It's important to receive confirmation from the interviewee before concluding that you're finished with collecting requirements. Ask if they have anything else to add or any corrections to make. Once you've received feedback, take the list of stated requirements that you've collected and begin the process of requirements analysis. You can hold a series of these 20-minute interviews with different stakeholders to complete the elicitation process or use other elicitation techniques if they're more appropriate. Well, that's it. And if you follow these four simple steps, it should improve your success with conducting an interview. Please don't hesitate to let us know if you have any questions or if you desire training or consulting on topics related to business analysis or project management. And on behalf of PM Centers USA, 
I hope you found this brief discussion about one of the most popular elicitation techniques helpful. Good luck and happy eliciting.